Hi friends, and thanks so much for coming back to my channel. And here it is once again, another verdict regarding the NAR settlement. Um, the courts denied home services an appeal. They denied their ability to arbitrate and they are um, on the hook for about $4.7 billion against them. And home services, if anybody doesn't know, it is a unit of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. So they are a what's considered a subsidiary or a um, one of the arms of Berkshire Hathaway. I'm sure they're trying to remove themselves um, from affiliation. However, I think that's really impossible. So um, I just want to read you a little bit about what that said, and then we'll kind of go on with it. But, um, you know, it is interesting. After winning the $1.7 billion verdict last October um, over claims that they paid inflated real estate commissions, Missouri area home sellers on Monday, um, and this is the 18th, asked for final judgment of more than $4.7 billion against home services, which is a unit of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, that's B-R-K-A dot N, and that is the sole defendant left in the case. Now, um, Remax and Keller Williams settled already for, you know, four and a half million dollars, something like that. Um, but in addition to seeking triple damages as allowed under the federal antitrust, the filing in Kansas, Missouri federal court takes into account 626.5 million in settlements that the plaintiffs have reached with the other defendants in the case. And so they are seeking way more damages of that um, company than the other two. And the other two companies already settled, just deciding that they just wanted to cut their losses and go ahead and settle and do the right thing. Um, even though I know at the Gary Keller's conference, you know, he was saying, we'll pay our fair share when it's due. Um, but I, I know that there was some thought that, you know, the entire company shouldn't, shouldn't be in trouble for some bad actors in a state because that really isn't the way that the entire company is run. But however, you know, this lawsuit is very controversial and um, it's very controversial with a lot of real estate agents. However, the law speaks and, you know, justice prevails and those folks are going to be paid and uh, we all need to move on and figure out what this looks like. And um, that's the latest update um, about the NAR settlement. It's pretty traumatic for home services, that arm of Berkshire Hathaway. And let's just see how that plays out and if they can plead down to anything. I don't think they can. It's federal ruling. So I think they're going to be on the hook for $4.7 billion. And Frankly, usually that kind of money can bankrupt an entire company. So I just don't know if they'll go after Berkshire Hathaway um, because they are connected. So I don't know if they'll be able to get those funds. I I would imagine they'll go bankrupt. So um, that's just a lot of cheddar, right? So anyway, um, if you want more videos and more updates like this on the NAR settlement and other things about real estate or real estate related transactions in Idaho, we actually talk about commissions um, with our buyers before our buyers actually um, transact with us because we have what's called a buyer's representation agreement. So you don't have to worry about that. And then we always try to look and see or ask the listing agent what the compensation is. Um, so we've been very upfront in Idaho. We're one of seven states that um, actually has a buyer's representation agreement. And imagine this, all states will in future. Um, so if you want more information about this or anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, be safe, be happy, and be home in Idaho. Bye-bye.